Good morning, Sarah. It's Susan here. And it is me, Skyman, as his table. And it's Mommy Rosanna. Mommy Rosanna. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We greet you with a nice big hug. We miss you guys. And I want to let you know that Skyland had a little challenge this past week. Owie, owie, owie. owie. You might not be able to see, but she has a little arm brace. And you want to tell TWC what happened and how God healed you, rescued you? Yeah. Okay. So, this is what happened. So, you are talking to the dog, like, over to the farms, like the horses. Mm -hmm. And this is our bird, and went off and tripped me over on sand. Oh, and Daisy is your dog, right? Yep. So you and fell. Resting. Yeah, and you fell, and 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 by you falling, it actually had you 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 broke a, a wrist. You didn't break your wrist. You broke your um, collarbone, yeah. or some would call it your. Um, well, it was up here. I'm only the clavicle. Here. Yeah, your clavicle. Okay, but how do you feel now? Um, a little bit better. A little bit better. He really did because you didn't have to have your bone repositioned and you've been happy and cheerful. So we give God the praise. And that's what we're going to talk about. God just being a healer and God coming to our rescue. OK, so that ties into the story that we're going to read today. And it's titled Operation No More Tears. Um, the rescuer will come. These are prophecies from Isaiah, the 9th, 11th. 40th, 50th, 53rd, 55, 55th, and 60th um, chapter. You ready? Okay. Do you know what your name means? Well, there was once a man called Isaiah, and his name meant God to the rescue. That might sound like a bit of a bit of a funny name to you, but it was just the right name for Isaiah because God had a special job for Isaiah. You see, Isaiah's job was to listen to God and then tell people what he heard. Now, God let Isaiah know a secret. God was going to mend his broken world. He showed Isaiah his secret rescue plan operation. No more tears. This is the message God gave Isaiah. It was like a letter God wrote to his children. Hold on to a <laughs> Dear little flock, you're all wandering away from me like sheep in an open field. You have always been running away from me, and now you're lost. You can't find your way back, but I can't stop loving you. I will come to find you. So I'm sending you a shepherd to look after you and love you, to carry you home to me. You've been stumbling around like people in a dark room, but in the darkness, a bright light will shine. It will chase away all the shadows like sunshine. A little baby will be born, a royal son. His mommy will be a young girl who doesn't have a husband. His name will be Emmanuel. Who do you think he's prophesizing about now? Um, Who is that? About, God. about Jesus. Yeah, about Jesus coming to earth. God called, God has come to live with us. He is one of King David's children's children's children, the Prince of Peace. Yes, someone is going to come and rescue you, but he won't be who anyone expects. Yep, that's what God is. And did God rescue you when you hit your um, broke your bone? Yes. yes. Yes, he did. He will be a king, but he won't live in a palace and he won't have lots of money. He will be poor and he will be a servant. But the king will heal the whole world. King is royalty like Jesus. He will be a hero. He will fight for his people and rescue them from their enemies. But he won't have big armies and he won't fight with swords. He will make the blind see. He will make the lamb leap like deer. He will make everything the way it was always meant to be. But people will hate him and they won't listen to him. 
He will be like a lamb. He will suffer and die. Mm -hmm. uh, let me tell you something. Uh, why he moved into the palace? Mm, he did. He did. Yeah. The cat's there. The cat. It's the secret rescue place. We made from before the beginning of the world. It's the only way to give you back, but he won't stay dead. I will make him alive, and one day when he comes back to rule forever, the mountains and trees will dance and sing for joy. The earth will shout out loud. His fame will fill the whole world, the whole earth, as the waters covers the sea. Everything said will come untrue. Even death is going to die, and he will wipe away every tear from every eye. Yes, the rescuer will come. Look for him. Who are we talking about? Being ah. Jesus being the rescuer. Yes. Yep. Jesus being the rescuer. Look for him. Watch for him. Wait for him. He will come. I promise. The truth is he's already here. Yes. We'll talk about that after the video. Okay. Let's pay attention. Focus. Okay, for Isaiah, he he read God's letter over and over to God's people, but no one listened to him at all. And ever, they didn't want to hear God's promise. They didn't believe it. Did it sound maybe too good to be true? A story that ends happily ever after. Well, it does sound like a fairy tale, doesn't it? And as anyone will quickly tell you, fairy tales aren't true or are they? Do you think this is true, Skylar? No, that's me. Well, I thought you just said that Jesus healed your arm. Is that true? I said it feels a little bit better. That's right. So, you know what? This is true. This was the prophecy of Jesus coming to, to live on earth and to die for our sins. And technically that did happen. Yep, and that's why we celebrate Easter. You remember celebrating Easter? We really didn't do much this Easter, but that's why we celebrate. They can't hear you because you're not focused and facing this way. Okay, all right. Well, we're gonna pray and we're gonna close out. Okay. So can you? Well, you gotta talk into the mic. So I don't know if you're being heard. Okay, well, you can pray. Let's turn around and let's pray so you can be able to use your big voice. Okay, all right. Ready and pray. Thank you, God. Help us to let the pain go away. Help us to let the pain go away from everybody. Everybody. And help our families, families in Jesus' name. Amen. You go. Amen. Father God, we do. We pray, Lord God, that you help the pain to go away. Um, we know that we serve a God that name is above all names. It's above COVID-19, above broken bones, above any disease or or infirmities that may cause us to have pain. We know that you died, Lord God, for our sins. We know that you died, Lord God, for our pain. And so we continue to just ask and have faith in you. We don't have to have a lot of faith. We just have to have a little faith, the size of a mustard seed, to know that you can deliver, that you can heal, and that you can rescue us, Lord God, from anything. In Jesus' name, amen.